My name is Katherine Hines. I'm the curator of the Margulies Collection at the Warehouse. Um, we are a private collection located in Miami and um, we have a public facility called the Warehouse where we do seasonal exhibitions um, open to the public free of charge. This year we have an exhibition that we curated um, entitled Sculpture and we're very excited about it because it is the culmination of a sculpture collection that we've been working on for 30 years. Um, it includes works from the private collection of Martin Margulies as well as monumental outdoor sculptures which have for many years been on loan to universities in educational settings. And we decided this year to bring together the sculpture um, for the first time in many, many years and curate this exhibition. And so we have works by some of the leading um, masters of the 20th century, including works by uh, Miro, uh, de Kooning, Tony Smith, George Siegel, Richard Serra, Donald Judd, John Chamberlain, and uh, Sol LeWitt. Um, and many of these artists um, um, were well known in the 20th century for the work that they did. Um, including Anthony Caro, of making sculpture a very important um, medium. Um, Anthony Caro is well known for taking sculpture off the pedestal and spreading it out into public space. Um, artists such as uh, George Siegel were very well known for the use of found objects, found materials, environments, if you would, in which he placed his very poignant, vulnerable white figures. And we have a work here from 1968 by George Siegel, which is called The Subway, which is in a very important component of the collection. And during the year, we're open uh, to the public four days a week, Wednesday through Saturday from 11 to 4. And we function primarily as an educational institution. We give guided tours. A lot of the universities, the high schools, and the art schools in the South Florida area, indeed in the whole state of Florida, use the warehouse as a location to bring their students, um, students that are studying both art um, as a medium, but also um, who are studying art history, who are studying philosophy, and who are studying our culture. And the we co collaborate with the universities and we develop programs for their students to become immersed in the issues of contemporary art. The educational component of, of having a private collection, we feel, is one of the most important things because um, a collection as it grows and as it expands, you have a certain obligation when you are able to um, include very important works by important artists in the collection. You begin to become involved with museums through loaning the works. And when you loan a work, you're able to um, connect with a museum and then catalogs and books are written about the works that are on loan. And as a curator and as a collector, you become interested in the educational process about these very interesting, wonderful objects. Um, of art and how they fit into our, our culture. We're very interested in teaching visual intelligence to young students. Um, the um, collection in this building is run by a foundation, the Martin Z. Margulies Foundation. The foundation was organized over 25 years ago with the mission of bringing education particularly to those people who would not have access to art. Um, otherwise, those children and those people who are in um, a disadvantaged situation, you know, arts education is cut in the public schools and there's, an, there's, um, there's a real dearth of information about art in our schools and so we feel that art can be a um, way to break the cycle of poverty and to teach young people about our culture. Um, to stand back and slow down and think about the images that are in our culture in a more intelligent way. And art has an opportunity, a unique opportunity, uh, to do that. And so um, that is our mission um, through most of the year. We do close in the summertime here and reinstall the collection. We do seasonal exhibitions. Um, some works are on permanent view here 
largely because of their size and their weight and their scale, difficult to move some of these objects. Um, but we do uh, remove uh, um, and reinstall about a third to a half of the collection every year. So we are closed in the summer to do that, and then we open in the fall. And we, as I said earlier, we give guided tours of the collection. We develop and participate and collaborate in national conferences um, about the issues um, that um, are interesting and, fo and have a particular um, focus that we have here at the collection, which is photography, both contemporary and vintage photography, sculpture, uh, video, art, it, 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 at any given one time we have over 20 videos on display here, um, and installation art. The collection is growing at a continual pace and we're very tenacious about um, looking at art and then making that art available to the public. So counting the objects in the collection is, is not something that um, we are able to do. Um, I can't provide you with that information, but there are thousands of works in the collection.